Yeah, hello, this is Delusional here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. I have another replay video on the channel that I'm gonna be making, of course. That sounds really weird. Uh, I'm I'm terrible at doing introductions. I I really feel like I am super bad at that. Either way, today I have another fellow Yoshimitsu player. I hit the mic, frick. Ah, man, I feel like I need to redo this again. Hello, guys. This is Delusional here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, for today's video, I have another replay video with a fellow Yoshimitsu that sent me their second ID. And as you can see, the matchup here is that the Lee ended up winning 3-1. to one. So I'm going to be looking at exactly what our Yoshimitsu fellow here did and then give some advice exactly what they could have done in the fight. So let's get to it. Okay, so starting out, we're saying that the Lee is going to do 4 to 1. He's minus 10. But since he has push blocked the Yoshimitsu here, our friend, he ends up going for back 2 2. I'm assuming he ends up not getting the hit off. Now, the reason why is that the forward 2 1 from Lee has a lot of push block. So he won't manage to actually attack him with anything. So at best, what he could have done here was attempting to go for either a full crouch down forward 4 that probably would have managed to hit off the lead with that forward 2-1. Ah, but at least he's using his back 4 to maneuver around the lead. And he went for 3-1, smart, into that. Usually around this rank, a lot of the players will get caught by a lot of the stuff that Yoshimitsu uh, can do, because 3-1 on block, the last hit, if they don't duck it, is plus 7. Okay, this is a party, Yoshi. I can see. Okay, the lead messed up there. You went again into back 2-2. Two, two. So let's look at it again. That's minus 9, so he's safe. So when you see a lead doing this particular move, you don't have to press anything. If anything, what you could try doing is, again, same thing. Try going for a low. Any of those lows that can reach at this distance you'll probably be able to hit the lead off of whatever they may do right afterwards because they do lose their turn. Nice. You're using a lot of the back fours, so that's smart. So using that to your advantage to get away from a particular situation where they may try to steal their turn is smart. So good choices. Uh, up forward, one plus two. A lot of the time, now that players are getting better at the game, I'm noticing that going for grabs at this point is not a smart thing. So instead, what I would say, and I say this a lot to the Yoshimitsu fellows on my channel, go for an unblockable setup. Go for either the Samurai Cutter or go for your Poison Breath. But since he ducked already, he probably already imagined that you were going to go for the grab. So Samurai Cutter would be your best choice. Ah, smart. The Lee ended up staying down, so you can't really catch him off guard with the Heat Smash. Oh, you had a decent opportunity right there to launch the Lee, either with a down forward 2 or with an up forward 3. Nice. Smart choices. No, don't. Never do back 2 1 on a backed up corner opponent. They're likely not going to press anything against you, especially when they have low health. They're even less likely to do anything in that situation. They're going to be holding back. And since now you did two back to one, you're minus 17, so they can easily launch you. But he didn't launch you, so you're safe. But smart on the down back threes. Oh, nice choice. Going for forward fours. You assume he's going to be pressing buttons. From the Lee's point of view, he was attempting to go for a down forward 2, and he ended up not getting that hit off. Okay, I'm going to have to advise <laughs> my Yoshi uh, companions here, all of my supporters, that if you play Yoshi, don't do this. Don't go for your forward forward 3 plus 4 into 1 plus 2 setup or the uh, string. This is not smart. The reason why it's not is that at this range, they're likely going to see it coming a mile away this move is very gimmicky 
So at this level, what you're in now, it may work against a lot of opponents, but I would say don't try to doing this. Don't don't try to make it a habit of using this particular strength. Again, don't never do this move. It's very unsafe. It's minus 17. If anything, if you're gonna be going for back to one, do it at a certain range where you end up whiffing the back two and then go for the one. Likelihood at this rank, they're gonna end up pressing buttons and they'll get caught by the one. You're using a lot of back two twos. If this guy were to adapt, he can actually duck your back two twos. Nice. At least you got your back fours or your evasion uh, to a T with the three one setup. Smart. Mm, really good. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. At this rank, which you're in now, you're incorporating a lot more grounded moves than I did when I started out playing Yoshimitsu. That move right there can be ducked. Actually, no, I don't think it can be ducked. I think it's the other move that, that he does that can, can be ducked. So I'm wrong here. Mm, I wonder what you were trying to do right there exactly. You just stood there. Your controller ended up like... No, I don't think that's the case. Okay, you're, you're being a little bit too aggressive. You're trying to steal your turn here. If he hits you with this move, let's go back. Okay, he hits you here. He goes for a slide kick right there. He's plus four. So if he decides to do anything while wake up, since he's put down in a crouching state, he can stop you from pressing any buttons. At this point, I, I can't really tell you what to do because even I get caught by that string. The best thing you can do is, if he's doing that move, the moment that he decides to go for the low kick from that string, because he can either do two things. He can either continue going into the string and it'll just be all mids, or he will then slide in a low kick as and continuously, infinitely attacking you with the kick. Once you block the low, try to get up immediately and then go into a back four or back three to get, up, to get away. It's the best that I can say, because usually even I don't know how to get away from that situation. Either that or do a uh, dick jab. Okay, you're doing the forward four too often. If he's going to be doing it too, and you're going to be doing it as well, then either one of you is going to end up winning the exchange. And in this case, he's winning it. So I would rather advise to continue doing what you was doing before, where you were going for your back fours or back threes to maneuver away. Okay, you ended up uh, ducking the move that he used, but the follow-up move that he uses is a high. So when you are fighting against the Lee and you see that they may do the follow-up forward four into one, just duck all moves. Just wait until he ends up using the elbow and then just launch him from there with two one. In this situation, I think what would have been better would to be using flash. Because since he's going for a low kick and you're quite close enough, I think you can manage to hit him with it. Let me actually try it out. Yeah, it will work. Mm. You went for back 2-2. Two, two. Okay, that move was minus 7. You didn't know that. So now that you know that that move is minus 7, whenever you see it coming... You can just wait it out until in to see exactly what the lead might do next. In fact, if he wanted to, he could have went into his misstep, and then then you could have probably managed to hit him out of it. But I'm not too certain. Nice back four. Yeah, you would have caught him. You would have caught him actually, but he ended up hitting you with his move. That's minus thirteen. You can go for either two two here to beat it, or one one. He can't block after that. But you ended up going for what was it? Your th your three one right? Yeah. No three two I should say. Smart. Uh, somewhat smart, somewhat not. Uh, the four. Actually, in fact, going into your dragonfly stance from your kang not kangaroo kick. That's what I'm saying kangaroo kick. Your 
3 slide 4 on block is very minus. So the fact that he decided to go with something else and he got hit out of it is on the least fault. So instead, don't go for your Indian stance into your 3 plus 4 or going for 3 slide 4 on block because it's minus if you go into dragonfly stance. Ah, no. Okay, let's see. Nice. Now you got your back 2 too. It's weird that you went for that. Smart. I 100% think that the Liz is going to go for his Rage Art. I bet. Oh, snap. Why would you go for that? <laughs> Okay, so you attempted to incorporate your up 3 plus 4, and now you incorporated your up forward 3 plus 4 into the... What was it? The 3 plus 4 again? No, no, no. That's the 3, I think. I could be wrong. Don't don't ever use that string in that scenario, because you're likely you're not going to end up making it work. Like, like, trying to force it, brute force it to see if it works, especially when you're both at low health. I would say use it in situations where you're still like having a bit of bit of health left and as well as the uh, the opponent then it's a lot likelier that they may press buttons and that you may catch them off guard but in this scenario since the Lee wanted to go for slide kick and you ended up going for that move you went over it and since you went for the follow-up move right after that since you didn't confirm whether or not you were going to hit the opponent then you ended up losing the match so all in all I think that your play style is incorporating some level of advanced tech while also incorporating some casual tech that's like and by that i mean that you're still not completely comfortable with the character i can tell you're still trying to like use back two twos because you think that's your turn when it's not your turn yet so what i advise is to at least learn a little bit of, a little bit of frame data i i would always say this to other fellow yoshimitsu players that if they want to learn the character learning a little bit of frame data will go a mile away in matchups so back to two is 14 frames on startup a lot of the moves in the game tends to be either around 12 to minus 13 on block depending on the move that they use usually the long winded moves tend to be around 12 to minus 13. so it's best to just be safe and go for one ones or two twos and if not go for down forward ones or two cores that would be your best bet and try incorporating more of that the other thing that i didn't see in the gameplay was that you weren't you wasn't really you wasn't really incorporating down forward ones or down forward fours so you're not really using your neutrals you're just using a lot of the uh stuff that works a lot in the yellow ranks which is your back two twos because a lot of players don't know if their turn is over or if they can steal the turn so they'll try to press buttons against you and you can catch them off guard with a back two two most of the time so that's one thing that i was would also say the other thing too that can easily rank you up and get higher in rank is that work on trying to incorporate some of the unblockable setups with Yoshimitsu because there were moments in time when you got the Eating Gauger but you didn't really go for Samurai Cutter or Poison Breath. Poison Breath is a lot likelier to get ducked since he w was anticipating your a command graph coming out. So instead at least try to incorporate your Samurai Cutter. If nothing else try to incorporate at least maybe a down forward two even if they block it it's safe on block so you're still safe so i would say that's one thing or even using while well, from a heat engager using three one again because it's safe at that point and you can try using either your four to make it even safer or to make uh or either use your two four or even your one in your heat state because at the heat state dragonfly one is a launcher so that's about it. I, you don't need to go hard on him. You don't have to like do anything else to incorporate more into your technique. Just more neutral gameplay. Try to not use your 4 4 3 plus 4 often. Even though it's a fun looking move. It's very negative on block. Well, not very negative, but it's going to get you killed. Uh, and the other thing that I would say is just that work on trying to at least incorporate Samurai Cutter into your gameplay a little bit. Because a lot of the times players at this rank, even at the lower ranks, since you're still at Gardu right now, will get caught by Samurai Cutter. So try using that a little bit more. And then besides that, you're gonna at least rank up a bit and get to maybe around Tenryu and maybe even touch on Mighty Ruler. 
So that's about all. That's what I need to work on. So if you guys like what you watched, I know that these kinds of videos don't really do super well, but since the fellows that are trying to get some advice from me, and to be honest, I should be adding this like in, as a membership type of video or adding it as some kind of like Patreon video so that way you guys can get some level of advice from me and I get paid for it. But I don't want to be that guy that does that. Uh, at least not yet, I don't think. If you guys want coaching, that, that's something that I'll probably do in the future once I start streaming. Before you guys leave, I do have a Discord channel now. I have finally managed to make a Discord for myself, so that way you guys can go there if you guys want to either leave your Tekken IDs, if you want to see more replay videos like this one, and or if you prefer, if you're for more private-like uh, discussions or advices from me, if you need help with exactly what you could try doing with Yoshimitsu, then I can still see your replays privately and then I can then give you the advice later on on Discord. It's completely free. I'm not going to charge you guys on anything like this, at least not yet. But at least I can give you some level of advice if that's what you guys want. And then who knows, in the future, which I will be playing the stream, just that I know I have been trying to fix my sleeping schedule, so it's been a while. Uh, now I kind of fixed it, so I can then start deciding next week, or the week coming up, I should say where I'm going to start doing some tests to see if the stream does well, if the my, if my bandwidth can handle the, the stream, if my computer can handle the game and streaming together, so that that way we can, you know, chat a little bit. And, or even, you know, if you guys want some coaching, I can even do some coaching. Though, of course, it will be paid. It won't be completely free either. So if you guys want that, come along. I'll link up the Discord link to the channel description or either to uh, the video description and you can go into it. So that's about it. So if you guys like what you watched, again, give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more.